Now, inside models folder, create a class named users. Inherit this class from identity user class. In identity users class, we have many properties, but we don't have full name property. So, create full name property inside users class. Now, create a folder named data. Inside it, create app db context class. Inherit this class from identity db context class and pass users class to it. Create constructor of this class with options. Open program.cs file. Above build method, use builder.services.add db context method and pass app db context class to it. Also use options using lambda expression and use useSQL server. Pass builder.configuration.get connection string to this method. And also pass connection string name to it. Open app settings file. Copy connection string and paste it here. It will be available in the description. Now open SQL Server. Copy the server name and paste here. Add the database name in front of database. Now use builder.service.add identity method and pass it users class and identity role class. Also use lambda expression here. Configure password requirements as per your needs. Also set require unique email to true if you want to let user create one account using one email address. However, you can enable any of these properties as per your needs but in this video, we'll set these to false. After it, use add entity framework stores method and pass it app db context class. After it, use add default token providers method. Now, open package manager console. Type add migration and pass migrations name. Then type update database and press enter. Let's check the database inside SQL Server. And database is created with all identity tables.